Oh, hi. I'm glad you joined me. I just uh, bought this plane from Woodcraft, and it's uh, one of the Wood River brand planes that they sell. It's the Stanley, it's this version of the Stanley number no. one. And, and here it is. It's a number one bench plane with the Bailey design. Um, and uh, it was quite pricey, actually, 122, but still cheaper than the real number one. Now, it just so happens that I have a real number one, and we've talked about that before, and I have the Lee Nielsen version of the number one Stanley plane. So what I thought I'd do today is do a comparison of the Wood River to those two planes. Now, let's get started with opening up the box. And you can see it has a nice outer slip sleeve. And then packaged like this. Now, it's sealed in a plastic bag that you uh, have to cut the end open, which I've already done. But I want you to see pretty much how the plane comes to you. Uh, it, it came pretty much all aligned and ready to use, but there were some issues with it. There, the brass screw bolt that holds the uh, front knob on is damaged by a screwdriver, and it's, and it's high. So uh, that's a, a little bit of a bother. The shape of the handle is different, as I'll note comparing them. The blade looks good and thick, and it seems like a solid plane. This one is made in China, whereas the Stanley one is an American plane, and the Lee Nielsen is a number one plane. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to uh, just look at all the pieces and compare the blades, the body, the totes, and the advancement pieces individually, and then we'll see how it cuts. We're going to open it up and see what's going on with this plane. There's our blade. Everything's nicely oiled in here. This screw sits in here. You see it's off-putting here. It's leaving a gap around here, which means either this is out of round or that screw might be a little bent. Let's take a look at it. When I got the plane out of the box, it um, both of these rattled, and I uh, went ahead and tightened these up somewhat. Now that's interesting. There are two washers on this piece, which I wouldn't think there'd be a need of, unless there was some issue here with the drilling of this hole, and I can see right here that this hole is not properly round. It's been offset in the drilling. There is a number one here, number one in here. And um, we'll put this back on. So I, I don't know that there should be two washers here. I would think that it would be satisfactory to have either none or just one. And um, so let's tighten this back down and see how she tightens down. Be careful when you're doing this. Always use a screwdriver that fits the screw snugly, not one that's going to be loose either this way or this way, because you want to be able to get some good force on it without it jiggling around and marring this up, which is another thing you can see here. This screw is marred up from the factory, so I don't like that either. I've already notified them, and they're sending me a replacement of this. But let's take a look. That one hasn't arrived yet. So let's take a look at all the parts and make sure they're all okay. You see, that was pretty snug. And using the proper screwdriver, I didn't get a lot of wobble, so that's good. I won't get any, um, won't have issues with mar marring up the screw heads. So let's back this out, taking this all the way out, 
and let's see how this looks. All right. Well, there's the milling. You can see the milling there. There's a magnet in this bowl. You see how it sticks? These don't. That means that they're solid brass, and that means that they're going to be softer than steel. Don't like that. Let's see how this one is. I don't think that anything that needs to be tightened, no, nothing. Also brass, solid brass through and through, not as strong as steel. This is also milled very flat. Let's open up an original and we'll do a comparison on that. Blade comes off. Steel, steel. So here are the three number one style planes, the Lee Nielsen, the Wood River, and the actual Stanley number one. Smoothing planes, they're smoothing planes. They're not rabbit planes, they're not philisters. Their job isn't to joint a long board, but it's to smooth, just like the number two, three, four. And it's got a high angle to the blade, and it's the typical Bailey design. Um, the Lee Nielsen has a thicker heavy duty blade than the Stanley original, and so does the new Wood River but there still are some differences. So I've tuned the three and you'll see the Stanley number one. First, I'd like to point out that this handle is really great. And if you notice, in smoothing a board, I get a nice even shaving. Now, this was after quite a bit of tapping and working the blade to square it up and the depth adjustment, because you see you have no lateral adjustment on any of the number ones. But the nice thing about this one, the difference between this and the Wood River is the handle. And it's a big difference because you see my hand fits nicely in here and it gives me a lot of control when I'm working with this plane. The Lee Nielsen as well has a similar handle with this nice crook in here. And that fits nicely into little web between your palm and your forefinger. Now here again, and I've tuned them, this one here is taking a little heavy cut on this side. Um, so if I just tap it like this a little, now it's cutting all the way across the blade and it's giving me a nice, nice smooth, shaving and a nice surface. This one works really, really well. It has the number one written inside here. And Lee Nielsen in the back. The number one Stanley doesn't have any marking at all. There's a B casting in here, but nothing that says Stanley other than the blade. Now, the Wood River has a nice weight to it, similar, similar, but you see, this is not as deep a crook here, so it doesn't feel good to put my hand in there. My tendency is to hold it higher, but 
It forces my hand lower here, and I don't like that. But let's see how it works. Now it's got a little bit of a thicker shaving. I'm going to back it off a little bit and then run it forward like that. And then there, that's a good almost nothing cut. Now I can edge it forward because I want a really fine cut. There, that's a more even shaving. I have to say, it's a little chunky, and this is cutting into my hand. You can see the marks there. Whereas the Stanley One tote fits nicely under my hand. Much more comfortable to use. So let's compare all the parts. We have all three planes, they're all arranged in the same order, and we'll start with the beds. We talked about the knob having an issue, that it was drilled out of round. It says number one there. And you see, the way it's milled here is flat, all the way across here, flat. Flat, 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 flat. And the big difference with that and the original as you see, there's a raised center portion here. So this is on a complete bevel, and this one will seat differently. The screws go in on an angle, the screws go in straight down. There's a B casting mark here, and WR for Wood River. The handles look similar here, but you see how much further this one comes than this one? And that changes the way this is held and how it feels. This tends to dig into your hand when you're using it. Um, every, otherwise, this is still black here, and this is not japanned. This is just sprayed black with a probably some form of a lacquer paint. But um, that's all right. It's not a terrible thing. The uh, number one appears to be just a little bit longer. You see the difference here. Here's the real number one. And the Wood River appears to be this much wider. So let's compare the number one again with the Lee Nielsen. The Lee Nielsen is a similar grinding here on the bottom here to hold the frog. And the two screws also get, go in on an angle. It has a number one behind the knob tight behind the knob. I don't know if you can see that here, where the other one had the number and one over there. It also has Lee Nielsen USA now on the back. If you take the Lee Nielsen and the number one and you line up to the front, the number one is a hair longer, not much. The number one is quite a bit longer than the Wood River. They are almost dead on widthwise, the Lee Nielsen and the Stanley. And you see it has that wonderful crook to the handle, the same as the original did. And that's what makes these two more comfortable to use. This is a little thicker in the back here in the casting on this side wall than the Stanley. And The Wood River is almost dead on to the Stanley. So let's compare the blades. This is the Wood River blade as it came from the factory, as all these did. Very similar to the Stanley, the keyhole slot. Rounded up here, but Stanley later started rounding theirs as well. On this side here, very similar with the screw coming through. The bolt is flattened, whereas the Stanley one still has a bit of a round to it. The Stanley blade is about an eighth inch longer. But here's a big difference. Look at the chip breaker on this. Here's the Stanley, nice and round, pulling a shaving up. The Wood River is pretty flat with a straight line here and a little piece of metal in here to open up that gap for the pressure. Big difference there. 
see there. Let's try the Lee Nielsen. Here's the Lee Nielsen. More like the Stanley. So after talking to Lee Nielsen about their chip breaker, I realized that my plane is 20 years old and they changed their design of their chip breaker in that time and they sent me some pictures and here they are of the old one and the new one. A lot more like the Wood River but not exactly like it. In both cases, Stanley is longer. The keyhole is reversed on the Lee Nielsen. The uh, bolt is beveled. The Stanley bolt is beveled. Not the, uh, not the Wood River, the Chinese version. So let's put those down and let's compare the frogs. So here's the frog of the Wood River. This is the frog of the Stanley. Very similar on this side. Steel screw, brass screw. Here is, it's interesting, there's a marking in there. It's either an S or a B. This is the Lee Nielsen, much smaller. In profile, Let's see if we can put them all the same way they would be. There you go. The, the knob on the Stanley is a nice, tight, strong little brass knob, and this works very cleanly. This is the B casting mark here on the number one, flat on the Lee Nielsen. Everything is brass or bronze on the uh, Lee Nielsen, so can't say much about that, but it feels like a nice substantial um, advanced screw. This one here feels like it's made with a little cheaper brass, but, um, but the movement is good. So I, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Certainly the price is much better. Here you don't see any mill marks. Here you do see the mill marks on the brass. Now the lever caps. The lever caps, the Wood River has the WR, and it has an extremely pointy tip there that I don't like. If you see on the one, it's similar, but it's rounded, so when you reach under there, it's not digging into your finger. The Lee Nielsen is the same way. It's kind of pointy, but it's a little rounded there. This is a dead point that really digs in, makes it hard to pull up. The, uh, they're pretty similar. The, the Lee Nielsen is definitely smaller. The Wood River is a, not too much small. Actually, it looks about the same. Looks about the same. It's actually a little longer. And the, uh, and the spring looks fine. The rivet that's holding the spring in is a lot, peened a lot wider than the uh, original Stanley. And here, it appears that they used copper, a mixture of copper and, um, and maybe a little brass, but or it could be a little, it's, I think it's just copper there with a peened over, very small there, and very rough mill marks here, not very finished. And here's the other thing about Lee Nielsen. What they did was they came in here and they rounded this whole thing. And um, you see this is double 
one hole here, second hole here for the keyhole. Same thing here and here. They just did one here. So they got a little uh, uh, chintzy with that, I'd say. Not terrible. I know the plane works well. Wood River did a little casting of their insignia there. That's nice. So Woodcraft sent me a new bench plane. So this is a different one than we've been looking at, but everything is about the same, except that the uh, front knob, the rod that holds that in place is, is a lot better and it's recessed. Now, when I called them, I talked to a tech person and he, would he said he would make sure that the, the new one that was sent to me, he would go through and make sure it's okay. And it appears that he cut open the plastic bag that was in and then resealed it afterwards and he checked it. He didn't know that I would be such a stickler. So the only problem that I found with it was there was a run in the, uh, in the sprayed finish here on the, on the tote. But uh, it gave me a good excuse to sand that off, repolish it, and I took that out. And it's smooth now. And it gave me a chance to use my Alfie shine that I keep nearby and um, so I've just put some Alfie shine on it and I'm going to do a little bit more and um, because I'm going to let it dry overnight and that should be enough of a finish on this hardwood um, and it should give it actually a nicer shine than it had but I'm making sure that I get underneath and all the little areas with it and I hit the front knob too with it and then that'll be ready to buff out tomorrow when it's nice and dry anyway dealing with woodcraft was very easy they were very good about uh, replacing the plane um, I did explain to them that I was going to be doing a video about it so I expected them to really make sure it was perfect and um, he missed that one little thing not a big deal for me. Maybe it would be a big deal for other people if they were buying it not to use it, but it's a perfectly good usable tool. That said, it's made in China, and uh, the Lee Nielsen and the number one were both made in America. Um, some people get upset by the fact that this, uh, that this was made in China, and I understand that uh, a lot, because um, Lee Nielsen puts a lot of work into their tools and uh, it shows. This tool is good. It'll be fine. For $122 you can't beat it. The, uh, the finish on the inside is not as good as the other two and I don't like that all the screws are brass because I feel like they're going to be softer and they're not going to wear as well. That being said, the Lee Nielsen is my second choice. Of course, my first choice is really expensive. The Wood so, River that I got is pretty good. It's a nice solid casting. Everything seems to function well. The blade is a nice heavy stock. I don't like the design of the handle because it, it makes it more awkward to use. But overall, it's still a nice looking little plane and substantial. The Lee Nielsen, my second favorite. I think it's beautiful in the bronze and brass. But, um, and it works great. Thick blade. The handle is just the same as the original number one. It's a nice working plane. The brass is a little soft, so I tend to be very careful when I'm using this one. The number one original, still my favorite. One and only. Great little plane. Great little planes. Thanks for coming.